Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? Pretty good here. So we're into uh, fender removal paint on my wife's car here. I almost got her off, but man, they sure cobbled a bit up. Uh, this thing, I guess, was in a collision. Um, I can see that it's probably not factory paint on the front bumper here now. This side panel, the hood. It must have been in a pretty good smuck. Don't think it damaged anything in here, though, which is weird, but... Unless someone went at it with a baseball bat or something way back whenever, you know, and wrecked it all up. But you can see this paint here is really not doing too good now. All the bumpers not doing too good. Uh, uh, I've already done the hood, of course, last year, and I didn't get enough paint. I should have got more paint. Ooh, it was only spray paint, and I got her on, but it's not super nice and shiny like the rest of it is, right? So, anyways, hopefully I got enough paint today. For this, once we get her off, I was just going to do it on the car. I'm like, ah, let's just do her on there. So I've got a few cans of this stuff anyways. Well, that should be hopefully enough. I think i got three cans of that maybe. For that fender should be good. And i got some primer. That's good. Got to do a lot of prep on it here, though. It's just getting it off because they, they've had her off before. And uh, cobbled her back on, let me tell you. So it's all pretty much loose. I got a few more things to take to take off. This part here, though, is underneath the bumper where they kind of mounts the bumper to the to the fender, and uh, they kind of cobbled it up a little bit instead of replacing the part. We'll just glue her up, bud. So it was hard getting that bolt out. I had to break a piece off. Whatever this goop is, I don't know. Cobra King, and uh, one of the bolts was broken, so that's not good. There's bolts all the way around here underneath this little cover that goes here. There's uh, there was one here So that's got her loose there. There's one under this little cover here hard to get to uh, One two and then three holding the light And then I've been popping off these clip things here too. I've been working on And they're uh, under there. I think I've got them all off Now I got the uh, fender bolt here. I got to get this guy off, which I think they must have replaced those at one time too. So. Ah, and then hopefully that's it. There's no hidden stuff anywhere else. Anyways, I gotta get in here and grab a screw driver to get that thing off. Screwdriver and uh, we'll get you on a tripod here and we'll get this, hopefully, this fender off. Might take a little finagle and I don't know if I gotta actually unloosen the yeah, should all come off, I think. It's just getting all out of the bottom here. Okay, let me get in here with a screwdriver. Um, might just turn the wheel a little bit to uh, maybe the left. Get my key out here. Where'd my key go? Like this has already been apart before, so this isn't factory <laughs> assembled. So she's been a wee bit. Now we should only have to get maybe this one off. Oh, where did I put my screwdriver down? Really? In my pocket. Of course it is. It's in the pocket. Okay. Nice rusty screws down in this little area. Plastic screws, really. Wow. I might have to take this whole thing right off. I don't know. Garbage plastic screws, eh? They're nice from factory, but wow, and it just spins. And wow, well, to be mean with it, I guess. Oh, 
Okay. Now, got to get this inner fender skirt thingy off of here, too. didn't really come out exactly how I wanted it to. I've got some of these new push pin things if you need them. Oh man, there's a pile of dirt in the back side of this here. Wow. It's still feeling pretty solid down there. I wonder if I've got another hidden screw. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh man. Hidden screws way underneath the... Uh, plastic here. Let's have a look. Okay, so buried. Buried way down under here. Where the heck was that now? I don't know if you can see it because I can't see it. There's one screw buried way underneath there. Well, holy smokes. Are you supposed to get in and get that out? This little plastic bezel underneath the car here. Oh, we jumping, eh? It's all gonna go back together either. <laughs> Holy jumping, what a mess, eh? One screw way buried down underneath the car here. This thing's being a pain in the butt. All right. Oh, what a bad spot for a screw. At least it's coming out, not breaking. Well, it worked just a pain the fender. I could have just done it on here, but done it on the car, but that, that would be no fun. Please come out. Okay, got him. Holy smokes. Now what do we gotta do here? Looks like there's still something holding this. Feels like something's still holding somewhere. There is the big hunk of foam stuff in here. It just keeps the junk from falling through. Get that out somehow. Feels like there's another screw somewhere. I'm gonna pop the door open here and have a look. See if I miss something behind here. Oops, all right. Uh, yeah, there's something way up in there. Way back in here. I don't know if you can see that bracket there. Okay. Let me investigate. Sure enough, another nice hidden one right up in there. So we gotta get that guy out too. All right, had to get that foam chunk out. Specially, you know, up. <laughs> Specially formulated for that.
they seriously put in a different size here? No. Oh, that 10 milli got to fit there, so I wonder if it's a different size in there. Oh, I wonder where they do that, I wonder. Well, it seems like it's a SAE. Hmm, it's a 7 16th. Hmm. Makes me think that they lost a bolt. Now this is where you would adjust your, adjust that there in and out for your body line. Nice if that was just on a slotted thing, but it's screwed right through. Holy smokes, that's a long enough screw, too. If I take this out, the whole car will probably fall apart. <laughs> okay. 7 sixteenths, and the rest of them are 10 mil. Figure that one out. There we go, that's what we're after. Okay, let's get this fella off of here. Maybe we'll get it off of here. Here we go. Fendered, defendered. Oh, look at the stuff laying in there. And the holes there, it all falls down, all the leaves and junk. Panel still looking fairly good in here, though there's a bit of rust at the bottom of it. Probably where all the junk was sitting in the fender bottom there, but holy smokes, we got her off, nice. Sure, not too much to them things for structural stuff, but yeah, all the junk that's in here, that'll rot her out real fast. Let's see if I can get my vacuum down there after. I don't know how far down that's going to go. It might go. Yep, it's all the way down into here, I think. You wouldn't think that would be uh, open there, but maybe it's not. No, it's not. It's just in here. Okay. But just leaves and junk fall. You know, you shouldn't really park under trees, but I just can't do much about that. Man, I don't know how all that's going to go back together with that broken piece there, but holy smokes. Well, i got a whole pile of prep to do here. See, they just never prep their surface, if at all. I don't, I, I don't even know if they primed it. <laughs> it's probably just what came with, you know, in factory. Like, you shouldn't be able to peel it off like that. So I doubt they even primed it, but I don't know. So yeah, i got a pile of prep to do. It's all the prep work, right? It really sucks. But, uh, I mean, down in here, I mean, I'll paint it, but it's not going to get as much prep as the rest of it, you know. But she's starting to rust a bit, so, I mean, I think this was a replacement panel, and they just come with, like, a coating of this black stuff on it. I think they just painted right over that whenever they uh, replace this panel here. Because you shouldn't be able to just uh, quite as easily do that. get much paint on it either, not very thick. I mean, realistically, we're not going to have this car for probably a whole lot more years. So I'll just get her kind of nice again. Hopefully, with this paint, if I got enough, hopefully I got enough. If not, I'll have to maybe see if I can get more. The entire special, 1F7. Yeah, I can just see that's just the black stuff there. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's just the black. Basically, that reprint stamp thing wasn't properly done at all, so. But anyways, uh, probably not going to do down in here. I'm not too concerned about that. It's just more like that. Actual fender here, right? A lot of work to do on this. Yeah, that's garbage. Well, that's better there. You shouldn't be able to peel it off like a sticker. <laughs> Jeez. Just not adhered at all. I was going to sandblast this myself too, but I think I might just uh, rough it up with some, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, air sander. 
I'm gonna get some primer pounded to her. Like I say, we're not gonna probably have this car for a whole lot more years. Than Still running good, but up in Canada here, all this salt and garbage that they throw in our roads here, man. Surprises didn't rust more than it did. Yeah, I'll probably I'm not gonna probably worry about it here though. In this little spot where it's kind of hidden. Where the heck was that? That's up the front there. Buried underneath the light, I guess. The light's right here, so. Uh, this will get down into here a little bit. I can probably rough that up with a sander. Alright, now down here. my torch out just to maybe warm this a little bit it might peel off a little easier come on baby ignite position here so you guys can see a little better this workbench isn't the greatest here but that'll uh, that'll get us pretty good here though they did a nice job here actually looks like there's uh, potentially some body filler there or something something there. It might be the original paint. Kind of looks like the original paint. It's actually adhered pretty good there. Starting to rust around the fender there too, isn't it? Not a lot I can do about it. Boot, didn't I? Should leave that on there. Yeah, there's a little dent there, I guess that's what they maybe filled in. It's not that bad though, really. I'll have to look at that a little closer. And I'll hit that with my sander just to rough her up a bit, and then we'll uh, pour some primer to her. We got a little bit up here we gotta work on though. Oh, that's still hot. <laughs> Didn't think it would stay hot hot that long. A little bit up here. This little spot always bothers me. It's up by the windshield. A little bit 
more adhered there. Interesting. Okay, and in here, that's where the little plastic thing by the mirror goes here. I'll peel the whole thing off. Pretty darn near. <laughs> Just get her painted quick and we'll sell it. Get rid of it. That's what they said when they did it the first time. Probably didn't even send it to a real body shop. They just painted right over the black stuff. Though that's going to be hard for me in there, but that's covered anyway. So, um, okay. It's not too bad. This little guy here is pretty messed up. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I have to see what I can figure out. For this little guy here that's supposed to hold that rubber thing on. It should come back out of here. I do have a kit of these kind of things, so I might have to replace that. Well, that's all the stuff we got off. Yeah, it's pretty bad down in here. That should be uh, sandblasted, really, and, and redone, but I can't get this in my sandblast cabinet. It's too big. I don't know if you can even see this corner down here. Probably not, eh? Well, not much I can do about that, but... Probably rust out there eventually. Hopefully by then she's turned into a some other car. Certified part, manufacturer compliance to CAPA specification, certification certified automotive parts association. I believe that was pro I believe that was probably a replace. Platinum plus made in Taiwan. There you go. A bunch of junk all down through here. What I might do actually is before I put it back together, I'll spray that with some uh, fluid film. Maybe. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit this with my. Uh, I got this bit in here too, but I'm not too worried about that because it's covered in by the hood. I'm gonna hit this with my uh, air sander, so I gotta get my uh, compressor going. Maybe try to build up this corner here a bit. Looks like I could turn the flame off now. Build this corner up to support it a little bit. That's pretty good. And I get on there and start sanding it off. I gotta get my generator out and get the big compressor going and all that stuff. So give me a second to get that going. Okay, it's gonna be a little loud in here. Got the generator going, the compressor's going in here. I guess I could probably almost close this door. Darn near. I have to listen to the generator running now, but I'll uh, fast time this for you so you can listen to some nice music if you wish. And uh, we'll go out of here and wrap her up again.
Okay, that'll probably be mostly good. I want to go over it with a bit of brake cleaner just to clean any residual dust off. It's amazing what you can get off of this just by wiping it again. I'll have a look here in a second. There's what I just got off of there. So, you know, you really got to wipe these things after getting into this residual. Now, that was an 80 grit I used there. It's a bit coarse, but I really want that uh, primer to stick to that. So, I'm hoping it will. I'm going to give her another wipe. See how much we get off of this wipe. Still getting a bit off. <laughs> there you go, eh? Dirty, dirty, dirty. It's all the prep work that takes so bloody long. <laughs> and I'll have to wipe that other side again. I should have done this side first, but I want to hit this corner here. I want to get some primer in on here. And I'll get the worst of her off. Can't really sand in there, and there's like a little lip under the fender here too that you can't really get into, which kind of sucks. But we got a, most of her off. Okay, probably should hit that with the primer first, which I probably will do. So let me just go grab that, and I'll just smoke some primer onto there first, and then uh, flip her over. All right, I'm just going to show you a bit of this painting. I just don't really want to get the paint all over the camera. The wind's really unpredictable out here, so. We'll uh, shoot a bit of this is self etching primer. Along them body things there. This is what I use on all my stuff to, to paint anything, prime anything. It works really good, it beats right into the metal. I should have done this from factory. I'm gonna let that sit a minute and uh, harden up a little bit. We'll throw another layer on there just to give her an extra extra bit. Okay, so just one more wipe down with the brake cleaner, just uh, because I had her flipped over there and sort of picked up some contaminants. Dirty there, not too bad. All right, let that dry off there. Keep shaking the primer. We'll primer up. I'm gonna put you guys back a bit further, I think, though, and maybe zoom you in so you're away from the, the mist. Light coats, a couple light coats. I'm really nervous to spray the silver though because it's got that metal fleck in it. Man, it is hard stuff to spray. I haven't tried this brand yet though, but the other stuff I got was mixed up at the auto parts store. And it sucked. It was hard. Hard painting that stuff without you know, running it and it just looks terrible.
drying fast. This stuff, oh wow, we drying really fast. That's good. Maybe I'll just leave it primer gray. I don't think she'd like that. Ryan out here. Again, I'm not going to really hit it with the sander. Probably just go over it with some uh, um, Scotch Brite pad or something, just to kind of swirl it a little bit, um, just so the paint can bite into it. This stuff's probably fine the way it is. I've never had a problem with paint falling off like, like the car was, but. burn it up somewhere let that dry up maybe a bit sweet looking good so far let's have a look yeah not too 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 bad for back neck back neck repair <laughs> redneck backyard repair so you're getting a little bit of dust already on it you know I mean I can't make it perfect I don't have a dust proof booth spray booth here but look at the look at the bits on it already just falling out of the air <sighs> oh and I just spit all over it that's that's even better <laughs> Yeah, there's already dust on it. Oh, what can you do, eh? Put this buffer off. Sweet. Looking good, though. Well, that's been sitting out here in the sun for an hour at least. Anyway, we walked over to Horton's, got a coffee. So that's good. I probably shouldn't have left this out here, although it's not too bad. These are going to need to be shocked up real well. But before we do that, we're just going to go over it with a Scotch Fright. Just to kind of rough it a little bit. I was going to just blast it with some air, though, but I noticed some uh, 
I noticed a little bit of moisture coming out of the gun there, so I didn't really like that idea a whole lot. This will just put a little bit of scratchy into it. So the paint will bite in a little better, even though I probably didn't need to do this. I wanted to let this dry a little more even, but uh, I think I better start doing her here because the uh, light's good right now. And uh, it's right on top of me. I can really see what I'm doing good. So, okay. I think I'm just going to grab a towel and just give that a buff off. That's not too bad, really. All right. Best we're going to get. Okay, I got some uh, paint to shake here because there's a lot of metal flake in this stuff. It's got like the small little reflective metal stuff in it. So I've got a bunch of shaking to do to get that all stirred up on this one. And we'll start going at her here. Oh boy. I got you way back here. Probably should do this underside first here. Uh, let's just flip this over without kind of touch too much of it. I think I'm just going to leave that as the primer under there. I don't going to bother painting that. Primer's pretty good stuff, so this has got the nice nozzles on it too. So. Trouble with this kind of paint though, the regular nozzles, it just shoots it into like a spot and you get a big blob. This stuff's really hard to spray. Boy, here we go. a lot of scratch marks in that still. That's not good. Should have gone over with a lighter stuff, I guess. I'm going to pull my nose over. <laughs> you see all the speckles in the air, right? That's pretty bad stuff. Probably not good to be breathing that junk. Anyways, I'm going to finish this up here. And I probably won't film any more of that because it's getting all over everything, this stuff. Holy smokes. Well, I'm not crazy how it came out. This stuff, like I say, it's hard to spray. It's, uh, it's really rough, too, with that, with that, you know, the sparkle in it. But it seemed like when I was getting to the end of this can, uh, no, not that one, I'll tell you that in a sec. When I was getting to the end of this can, it wasn't really spraying the greatest, so it's kind of left a little bit of a weird blobby stuff there, so... I already got some dust on it. Oh man. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna try going on her again with another another one of these cans. So that was only one can, so that did pretty good, but I was reading this after blah 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 clear coat. So I had to go get some clear coat for it too. This uh didn't have any clear coat in it, it's just the paint and the stuff. So I'm gonna try to hopefully fix this here. If not make it worse. Should be awesome, but I won't go maybe quite as much. No, no, it seemed to be spraying more of the, like it was settled again. You know, even though I'm shaking it the whole time. And it's settled again, and uh, I guess you should spray a bit and then shake it. Well, this stuff, you know, it settles pretty quick. Well, that's about all I can do. I don't know. This stuff's weird. 
There's a weird spot. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but it looks smoother there. And it's really rough here. I don't know why. I've sprayed and sprayed and sprayed and sprayed. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just the, the way the sun's catching it. I don't know. So, yeah, I got to let this dry. I think it's half an hour. Maximum product performance and... Read entire labels and directions. Wipe down surface with a clean cloth using rubbing alcohol or wax grease remover, which is, we've already done this. Uh, masks running area, blah blah blah. Shake can vigorously for one minute and after each minute, after each minute. No, clear, clear does not contain a mixing ball. Just spray hold can parallel eight to ten inches from blah 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 blah. Like coats are and a heavy coat, final coat. Allow to dry ten minutes between coats. Because it covers approximately 10 to 12 square feet. This is the only can they had, so that's all I got. But, oh, get off of there, you stupid fly! But why this is weird here, I don't know. That's where that stuff was, maybe. It's just a little different there, so... I mean, there's a little weird... ripple or something here. I don't feel anything in the metal, but I can see, like, it almost looks like a run, but it's not a run. So, that's already dry. But yeah, it's for staying really really rough and it's smoother there so I don't know I'll just let her dry for 10 here and then uh, I'm gonna clear it what did it say 10 or 30 two machine light coats this can mask off surrounding area spray can hold 8 to 10 inches two light two three coats perfect match covers 12 to square feet okay where was I reading that it's on there somewhere. Yeah, coats and 30 minutes before applying duplicate. Okay, so it is, uh, say 10.52 when we did it. So we'll come back and clear it in half an hour. Well, it's got a real rough spot right here, and I don't know why. Everywhere else seems pretty good. I tried to sand it with some thousand grit is the finest I got, and I can see I put some scratches back into it. So... I guess we'll just give her here. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just clear it. Maybe the clear will fill those in a bit. It's really, really rough right through here. And then down here, it's all smooth and really smooth here. I don't know why. It's like I didn't want to spray any of the stuff on there. But anyways. It's hard to see where you put it. Oh, it's going all over the camera. Okay, that's enough for you guys. I don't want to get my camera covered in this stuff. Well, Sorry. that's the worst amount of damage I can do. I'd really like to know what happened there. I mean, it should be fine. But it's definitely not robot factory painted. That stuff is hard to do. Whew. Down here, all looks great. Then up here, it went really weird. And then down here, it wasn't too bad. And here's a little weird. I don't know what happened. There's a nice smooth spot, but it never seemed to change, and it was all cleaned off, right? So, I don't know. Sanded between every... well, I didn't sand between the coats of this stuff, because I don't think you would with the, uh, that, uh, metal stuff in it. I, I wouldn't think so anyways. I mean, I went over it with a thousand grip, but I didn't really want to hammer it in there too hard again. I can see a couple little lines, but, uh, that's gonna have to dry a wee bit before we can put that feller back on anyways. Well, here's my little kit of these cool little things. Um, might have to go maybe with one of them again instead of one of these with the push pin thing. I don't know. I don't know. That one was kind of a big square one and I probably don't have any of those. There's one of those crappy ones that was in the fender, though. Those screw ones are not very good. Uh, boy, oh boy. All kinds of different ones. Maybe one of those or something. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out when I get to it. Or one of these guys will probably hold it in. Maybe. I don't know. Fun stuff. But, 
Oh, I don't really like the way this came out. For some reason, it's really coarse looking right there, and I don't know why. I just wonder, yeah, it's really bad down here. It's even worse. It should be, you know, kind of smooth and, and nice. Like, they must really... I wonder if the sparkle in that is smaller, like it's really tiny, where this is a lot kind of coarser stuff. It's really hard to say, but anyways, it's probably not going to match it anyway, so I'm probably not going to film putting this thing back on because it's going to be a lot of swearing, I think. <laughs> Normally I don't swear, but sometimes, you know, you get upset things fly so anyways I'm gonna get her slapped back on here somehow figure out what I'm gonna do with this plastic piece maybe silicone it just jam it on and hold her there I don't know yet but we got some screws to put back in all up here and stuff and one buried down there and the one up here and then try to figure out how we're gonna attach all these back into into these things that are under here, which I could probably just get away with one of those, although that big square one, I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, I'll get working on this, show you when we're all done. Well, she's back on, I mean, it looks better, but it doesn't look great. Now you gotta remember, this paint is from like 2013, so this is brand new paint, so it's gonna look different for sure. Um, but it just didn't apply super nice, honestly, it, I don't know, I got that spot just weird I don't know if I went a bit too thick or what but anyways the clear is not terrible terrible bad I think they must really pour a lot more clear to it like it's got a layer on it I'm gonna say um, for instance here you can see where it's kind of peeled off a little bit you can definitely see a difference between the clear thickness there and like the paint below but this is just garbage it seemed to be pretty good to start with, and then it just went weird. So I don't know. I mean, it's better. It looks better than it was. This poor uh, bracket for that fender, though. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I got one bolt holding it at the front there, and that's it. The other one's broken and gone. I don't know what they did with that, but it had a gob of goo put in there, too. And, oh, man. Just not uh, not tremendously good. It's not sitting where it should be. They're not nice and clipped up like this one, right? So... I don't know if I can get another clip for it or what and replace that, but it just doesn't want to sit where it kind of should. It should be sitting up higher like that and in, but it's just not going to stay clipped like that. But uh, anyways, maybe I'll have to goop it again. Get it mounted up here like this and throw some silicone or something in it. I don't know. It's definitely not sitting right. It should be sitting up higher than that too where I've got quite a gap here juicer bud and here it's it's kind of tight right so over here it's good but I'd have to hate to get the whole a whole new fender for it the whole plastic piece would be expensive I bet probably wouldn't even bother but it's not sitting right here and it's just because of that clips broken I guess when they took it off they just ripped at it and maybe they never replaced it maybe that's the same clip in there that's when it got hit Ah, oh, but anyways, I mean, it looks better than it did. All paint all falling off it. That looked terrible, so. But I can even see, like, a difference between the doors and that back fender. See that? I'm wondering if someone, I don't know, this front corner and just, maybe they went all the way along the side and they stopped about here because it does look different to me from the door to the fenders back there it does look darker and then brighter I don't know I don't know I, I'm a pretty good painter but this stuff was definitely tricky didn't like this stuff too much and uh, it's on but uh, and I got new pins around there and everything's all mounted on where it should be so and no bolts left over I don't think anyways no nope, used all our bolts up so that's good now the question is is this gonna sit down right Yeah, it looks pretty good. Well, that's not too bad. It looks just the same as the hood. But that is one tricky paint to paint, let me tell you. 
Oh man, but anyways, I, I say it does look better, but it doesn't look factory robot professional. But, uh, you know, like I say, this is 2013, that's uh, 16 years old, 13, 23, no, 11, 9 years old. <laughs> My math isn't working right now at the split of a second. 13, 23, so 9 years old, yeah. So usually in Canada, around 10 years old, you gotta start, a, start thinking about changing over and getting something else. So we uh, potentially may do that anyways, I don't know, we'll see. Cars are hard to find right now, around here a little bit, and uh, new especially, got to order from factory, right? So, not too good, but uh, anyways, my hood's maybe off there a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. Yeah, the line's off a little bit there, but look at even here, it's starting to, on this other fender, so holy man. And uh, they told me it wasn't a collision after we signed the papers, of course. Oh, this wasn't a minor collision. Really, bud? You didn't freaking tell me that until now? Freaking arsehole. But I think this might be, I don't know, maybe just the Toyota paint doing that. I'm not really too sure. I know Toyota for a while there had a little problem with their paint. And uh, this isn't too bad here, but I'm getting some spots on the trunk here too with one, two, and then three. So that's not good either. And one there. Um, our pup pup there got out the other day and scratched all the side of the clear coat up on here too, so that's all wrecked. But uh, gee, I'm not way I'm not liking the way that turned out, and I don't know why it did that. It's probably because of that kind of paint. Wow, hard stuff to paint. I like just straight colors rather than getting all this stupid sparkle in it. But anyways, I mean it looks better. It does look better than it did. So for that fender. Front bumper fender, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Maybe just goop her up again, I don't know. But uh, anyways, there we go. Messed all up, but a little better than it was. So that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day. Got brakes to do on this at some point too. The fronts, and then I got rears for it too, but um, I don't know when I'm gonna get to that yet. They're still working fine, but they're just, sometimes they feel hard. You push it on this one, you got a whole bunch of brake, right? So I think they just need maybe more cleaned up and lubed up again than anything. The pins are probably seized up or something. But uh, I did a brake video there ooh, a long time ago. I think it was on the, I think it was on this, if I remember right. And all the flame and I took off. Oh, you didn't do that. You didn't. Well, you know what? We got like 60, 70 thousand k out of the <laughs> out of the brake since I have had to redo it again. So I must have done something right. But anyways, just saying. Just saying, everybody's got a comment, and that's all right. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Oh, man, what did I do wrong? You tell me. I must have done something wrong in there. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but it does not right. Something something went weird with it. I don't know what it was. Maybe I should have sandblasted it. Let's give it a quick sandblast. And maybe that would have been better than just scraping it off with the air sander, but I don't know. But anyways, there we go. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day. Paint it up one day, sweet.